Folks, how we doing? Wing nuts, bike builders, speed freaks, friends and beyond. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, I got something in here. A what? Oh, yeah. I know I'm best to show. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys. Good try. See what we got here, guys. Seventy two seems to be a popular year. If you look at this one. Just a spot. <laughs> That's nice. Oh. What type of motor is it, sir? It's a two-liter four-cylinder. 
it's the uh, same block that's in the Massey Ferguson tractor. Oh, wow. The only difference is heads and dual parts, so that gives it even more performance. Yeah, and a friend that had a, a, an old Saab, and I think he put a little uh, marine motor in it. It looked similar to that, so I was kind of wondering. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised if this wasn't so, used in marine um, engines, too, because yeah. that basic that engine was used in all kinds of British vehicles. Yeah. Tractors and forklifts and all kinds of things. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, and the hand pump pumps the fluid out. Imagine that. Yeah, I, I liked it real well until I liked it real well until Massachusetts said that if it's on there, it has to work. Yeah, well. The first year they made me uh, make it work because rebuilding that pump was must have been yeah, it must have been quite a chore. Yeah. That's beautiful. See what I came for. Check out a couple of these on the way. Green Coopers. That's clean.
200 cartridges. Oh yeah. Dragonfly. Just one second. Imperial Rover. The Rover Company Limited. Coventry. Huh. How are you, sir? Good, good. That was amazing. I knew I'd find something here I like. <laughs> myself I did a little uh, motorized bike catch and modify them all up. It's a, kind of a kind of a different thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you remember the old Whizzer. Uh, it was like a kind of a kit bike they had. I think Harley actually bought them out some years back. They're kind of like the first uh, plug and play uh, engine you could strap to a bike and Oh yeah, wow. So, uh, yeah, I, I've been fooling with these things for a while. I did some uh, modifications to a case the other day, trying to increase the uh, internal pressure to bring the RPMs up. And um, let's see if I can show you. So I kind of designed a. It's in the inside of the case. Uh, I went around it. Um, I put in a PVC pipe that was just a little bit bigger. It's uh, JB Weld. And it starts kind of, there's a little kind of a dip down on the bottom there. So the pressure can kind of come in and, and get oh, caught. Yeah. And then it starts the lowest and ramps all the way around to the highest. So it kind of pushes it back out, um, you know, maybe at a higher velocity. And, um, yeah, I kind of get a little YouTube channel. I posted a bunch of stuff about it on there, but, um. Are there many of them out there? Uh, like that? No, oh, I mean, just, yeah, no, it's, it's quite a thing. I'm part of a group on, uh, Facebook. I, I don't do the Facebook very much, but I, I go there for that. It's called, uh, Zeta, Z-E-D-A. Oh, yeah. And I think they've got about something like 15,000 people just some some are international but mostly here in the u.s but um one thing that the uh, the internet has made uh, much easier this is a motor here i get a so i get a permanent gasket i made there uh out of an old case fin it's a magnesium composite gt6 uh head those are kind of rare and hard to find and then it's a steel sleeve oh, yeah. and um uh, and i got a yz85 um, pipe that I had modified. Um, I'm gonna, I eventually put another carb on it. Um, I found with the sprocket I had a 38 that I usually use for my testing, but it's a 32 tooth. And um, the the last build that I had it on, I had reached my limitations with the port work and timing, um, port timing and physical timing. I was at it's only a 40 47.6 you know 49 cc and uh right, right under 50 miles an hour you get them out of the box you know stock without modification doing about 20 25. so yeah i have this one right here i um i'm just in the first tank of gas so i really haven't even got to <laughs> see what it's gonna do but i i just thank god that it's not a complete fail you know the work I did to it, I, I was, I was going to start it up and just wait for it just to, to die out or something altogether. But it seems like it's it's running really good. I I um, was on the way home the other night and the uh, engine I had on there, uh, I ate the main drive on it. So 
I had a puller, but I couldn't get in there because the teeth had broken and it, it had kind of warped. So, so I had to rethink how I'm gonna get it off there, but I was waiting to put this on another on another bike. But I said, ah, let me go ahead and put it on and see what happens. And yeah, I did a, did a test fire on it, and so yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> wait to see. Like I said, uh, which one? Now, what one of these is yours? Or? These are all his. Oh, they're all wow. Okay, that's quite, a, quite a collection for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, the old, uh, old yeah. yeah. Now, what's what are the what are the uh, what roughly are the years of these? Uh, 25? Wow. Wow. And then, so these are, I'm assuming these are four strokes because I see some kind of like lifters. They got, yeah. This, this bike right here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> What type of uh, uh, piston is in that then as far as, far as uh, 